you have no idea how much power there is in one of you who will surrender your life to God. You have no idea. You might put yourself down. You might count yourself out. You might say, well, I'm not a preacher. I didn't come to talk about your words. I came to talk about God's word. And he spoke over you before one of your days came to be. And I want to know, have you ever heard that little voice? Or are you like, no, honestly, Pastor Stephen, I'm, I'm, I'm cool. I'm, I, I wouldn't object to it, but I never really have. I've never really heard God speak to me. I've heard Bible verses before. I like certain songs y'all sing at the church. Some of them I like better than others. You know, I'm kind of tired of Graves in the Gardens. We've been singing that for a while now. I don't want to hear the blessing anymore. I like some of the new stuff. I like the rhythm stuff. I like those songs. I get a good feeling. Sometimes when a preacher is preaching, I'll start crying and I won't know why. But if you want to ask me, Pastor Stephen, honestly, like, have I ever really heard that little voice of God saying, hey, don't do that? That's not you. That's not you. That's not who you are. Don't, don't, no, don't do, no, 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 no. I love you too much to let you follow your friends off a cliff into a future that is beneath you. Maybe you never have. Maybe you never have. Maybe you never have. Maybe you've never really had a moment in your life like I had at 16 where I realized, you know, my mom raised me in church and I've heard a lot of Bible sermons, but I never really responded to God. I never really accepted his grace. I never really committed my life to Christ. Maybe you never heard that voice before. Maybe you haven't been to church before. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you get to see that God doesn't just have to sound like a pipe organ. God can sound like 808s. God can sound like trap drums. God can sound, God can speak anywhere, anyway, at any time to anyone. Say it. God can speak anywhere, anyway, at any time to anyone. And that little voice, that little voice is the reason I'm standing before you today. I'm not that smart. I did not go to Harvard. I'm not that smart. I don't have a PhD. I'm not that smart. My SAT score was barely enough to get the job done. I'm not that smart. I'm not that perfect. I don't pray five hours a day. Some days I don't pray five minutes. Okay, this side of the room is real judgmental. I'm going to come over here where my daughter is. Some days I don't pray five minutes. I am not here because of all the great prayers I prayed to God. I'm here because of his voice that spoke to me.